Attention, please. Ladies and gentlemen, the International Boxing Club presents to you a 10-round non-title fight under the sanction and the supervision of the Illinois State Athletic Commission. The ring officials are signed by the same. The attending physician and physician at the ringside, Dr. J.M. Houston. Our timekeeper at the bell, Charles Sidebottom, counting for the knockdown, Joe Lip. The judges, John Bray and Frank McAdams, and the referee, William Doty. Quite a few pounds lighter than expected. They thought he would go about 153. Weighing 149 pounds, wearing white and black trunks. From Cuba, the world welterweight champion, Kid Gavilan. That's Bill Doty, the referee, for the instructions. in the offices of the Illinois State Athletic Commission. Therefore, you know what is expected of you. You're familiar with the rules of boxing in this state. Again, I want to caution you about your low blows. Keep them up. Those kidney punches, don't use them. And the rabbit punch. Be sure and don't use the rabbit punch. In the case of a knockdown, the one remaining on his feet will go to the farthest corner and remain there until I tell him to come out fighting. The other fighter will, of course, be forced to take an eight count before being allowed to resume fighting. In the event of a clinch, I want you to break clean and step back before you start throwing punches again. Remember, any infractions of these rules might cost you that round or even the fight. Good luck to both of you boys. Shake hands now. Go back to your corner now, starting at the bell. Please, ladies and gentlemen, refrain from smoking, please. So, Pat Blue Ribbon brings you another big one from Chicago. Cleveland next week with Matthews and Nardico the following week. Ezra Childs against Joey Maxton. This is round one of the scheduled 10 round main event. Johnny Bratton and Kid Gavilan, each at 149 pounds. Bratton in the black trunks, Gavilan in the white. Bratton has been training intensively on infighting for the past month or so at Bobby Gleason's gym in the Bronx, New York. Determined to get inside to Kid Gavilan. It was on May the 18th that uh, Gavilan trounced Johnny Bratton and took the title. That's Gavilan in the white trunks. Bratton using that left hand extensively. And you can tell that since Bratton is a Chicago boy that the crowd is largely pro Bratton tonight. Gavilan fighting very slowly so far, but there goes that vicious left hook of his. <laughs> this pace uh, looks like we're going to have a whale of a battle. Slugging it out already. Neither man appeared hurt in that exchange. This is round one. There's a minute to go.
Devlin. They were knocked out and never down. We have 30 seconds to go in round one. Well, Bratton beat Gamelan to the punch as he was starting the bolo, but then he ran into a hard right to the nose. There's a slight cut on the right side of Gamelan's face, but down below the eye. And there's the bell for the end, end of round one. There's the welter champ, Kit Gavilan, and Johnny Bratton has uh, incentive besides revenge when he is in there with him tonight. Bratton, who emulates Sugar Ray Robinson both in and out of the ring, copies his boxing style, and in spare time rattles the drums with a jive band, was Golden Gloves champion. But Kit Gavilan right now is riding the crest of a 13 winning streak. He's won 77 out of his 92 pro fights, scoring 22 knockouts. He's lost 12 with three draws. He has never been knocked out. You remember the fine card that uh, Nick Londis of Detroit promoted a few weeks ago, and we brought that to you for Pamp Blue Ribbon. Gavilan knocked out Tony Gennaro in the fourth round. He is hitting harder than at any time of his career. They're patching up the cut on the side of Bratton's eye. It is clear away from the eye area, I would say at least an inch. Let's go for round two. Gavilan, the welter champion in the white trunks, and in the black, Johnny Bratton, the kid from Chicago. Only 30 seconds of this round is gone, and they must have thrown a million punches. The cut on Bratton's face is open again. This is the second round. Johnny Bratton in the black trumps has been trying to flurry with Gavilan, and he's found that uh, he can't do it too easily. Bratton getting away with a right-hand lead. Seems that the kid wants Bratton to land one, so he'll leave himself open for a follow-up. And Gavilan has been countering beautifully. That's that left hand that knocked out Gennaro. That blow was partially blocked by the glove of Bratton. You've got a minute to go in the second round. Despite his uh, intensive work to try to learn infighting, Bratton hasn't done much of it tonight. He hasn't had a chance with Gavilan peppering at long range. <laughs> Round two is almost over. Neither man has been down. Gavilan seems to be very calm and cool about it all. Very confident. And they exchange rights as round two is over. Now, 
This is Russ Hodges at a ringside for Pat Blue Ribbon in Chicago at the Chicago Stadium. Bratton and Gavilan after two furious rounds, ready to come out for round three of this scheduled ten round non-title event, which you would think everything in the world is at stake the way the two have gone at it. Once again, they have patched up the cut on the right cheek of Johnny Bratton. That's Gavilan in the white trunks, Bratton in the black. They both weigh 149. Bratton trying to stay away from that lethal left, left hook of the kids. Gavilan, as you notice, hasn't gone to that bolo. But it's a real crowd pleaser. And the fans are all looking for it. Bratton, a tough luck boy. Has had that uh, jaw of his fractured three times. <laughs> Bratton went to the ball all himself. There's Gavilan thundering in that left hook of his. Bratton was in a bit of trouble, not seriously hurt, but he was feeling it. Position in the right eye now. Bratton isn't too good. He's blinking a bit. And left hand is getting in there quite consistently against him. We got 30 seconds to go in round three. Kid Gavilan, the welter champ in the white trunks, Bratton in the black, but this is a non title fight. And the bell ends round three. And down here at ringside, ladies and gentlemen, I have Mr. Jim Norris, the president of the International Boxing Club. This is the IBC. Thank you, Rose. Anything. Now we go to round four. They're working on the, uh, they have worked on the eye of Johnny Bratton. He uh, almost wore his towel in there with him. This is the fourth round of the scheduled 10 rounder. Most of the solid thumping in round three was done by Kit Gavilan. Bratton landed some very effective right hands in round two and some good left hands in round one. But the kid is very sharp. Kid Gavilan, that is. Or as he was known down in Cuba is Gerardo Gonzalez. One of his natural assets is speed. The entire Gonzalez clan, very speedy. Bratton took a solid right hand, but came back with a good left hook of his own. As one minute is gone in round four. It was Gavilan that finally slowed down after they left on the chin, but that right hand got in tremendously hard on the forehead of Johnny Bratton. Bratton is blinking quite a bit with the right eye.
There's one minute to go in the fourth round. Bratton slowed down considerably by that pounding to the head that Gavilan has given him. seconds in round four. Refrigerator for a bottle of you know why. And round five coming up. We saw the way this uh, bout can explode when Johnny Bratton suddenly came to life with some tremendous right hands. I'll have perhaps blue ribbon too. This is round five. It's Bratton still uh, bleeding profusely from a cut on his right cheek, moving in toward the eye now. In the black trunks and Gavilan in the white. The fifth round. Gavilan with uh, 92 battles, 77 wins. Johnny Bratton with 63 trips into the ropes and uh, 44 wins altogether. Two minutes to go in round five as the face of Johnny Bratton becomes a crimson mask. Johnny can really sneak that right hand in on you. Gavilan not quite as fast in this round as he was in round four. Perhaps has learned quite a bit of respect for Bratton after a couple of thundering right hands landed on him. Very clever decoying by Johnny as he gets Gavilan attention to the right hand and then whips in the left hook. One minute in round five. In the infighting, of course, Gavilan definitely superior to Johnny Bratton. Yeah, that's a peculiar maneuver. The kid, of course, wants Johnny to lead. of the fifth round. Neither man has been down. That's the champion, Kid Gavilan. You know, Pabst Blue Ribbon for six coming up of the scheduled ten-rounder. That's uh, the welterweight champion, Kid Gavilan, in the white trunks. They're attempting to close that cut on the right cheek of Johnny Bratton, but it uh, stays open. It's not a big one, but, of course, the trickle must be quite annoying to him.
This is the sixth round. That left of the midsection for the kid was conspicuous because there's not been much body punching. probably figure that time he'd take a swing at him the next time around. Javelin continuing to move away from that right hand of Johnny Bratton. He knows it can hurt him. This is the sixth round by far the slowest of the fight so far. Those things have to happen once in a while. One minute left in round six. Kid will take those lefts, but he's very wary of the right hand. Bratton felt that terrific left uppercut. Even though he flurried nicely ahead of it himself. Both men have an amazing ability to take a punch. And that ends round six. So going to round seven at uh, Chicago, Johnny Bratton and Kid Gavilan. Bratton in the black trunks, Gavilan in the white. Nita Man has been down, and they weighed in at 149 on the head. About what you figured Gavilan to weigh, it appeared though that Bratton would weigh 153, 154. on Bratton's eye, on his uh, side of his eye, has not been stopped entirely. hitting and holding.
This is a very colorful round between a pair of real prize fighters in there that know how to do a little bit of everything. And round seven is over. That's Johnny Bratton over in his corner. And you can see that uh, they're working on his eye. There's Jaime Warman and Freddie Fierro in there trying to slow down that flow of blood. Getting a big kick out of the entire evening tonight. Lee Gold, the Cold Tycoon, Mickey Houston, Eddie Ray, and Scotty Rubin. And Al Wilde, of course, who is here on the uh, welterweight tournament. They took the round away from Gavilan for being warned on the rabbit punch and for holding and hitting. Never will forget the terrific battle we had with uh, Bratton and Fusari out here in a 15 rounder. Well, you'd think the title was at stake tonight the way these two guys are going. Johnny Bratton in the black trunks, Kit Gavilan in the white. Bratton paying much more attention to Gavilan's left than he is to his right. Well, uh, it's exactly the opposite with Gavilan. He's not worried about the left hand, but he's very cautious of the right that Bratton can wing him in with. This is the eighth round. And there are two minutes to go in the round. Bill Doty almost warned one of the two boys for a low blow, but he decided against it as he went in there. to be in trouble now and there's a long way to go in the round a minute and 20 seconds but he's weathering the storm he rolled beautifully with most of those rights but one of the last caught him flush on the chin there's a minute to go in the eighth round now ladies and gentlemen times but he hasn't appeared to do too much damage to Johnny Bratton. And there's the bell ending round eight. Yay. Let's go for round nine. Johnny Bratton, who suffered a cut eye in the second round, has still been staying in there with a the rough and tough champion of the Welters, Kit Gavilan. The eye is, the cut is standing almost into the uh, extreme right corner of the eye now. It's more on the cheek.
Kid Gavilan in the white trunks, Johnny Bright in the black. This is round nine. Here from Con Jennings, Marquette University's athletic director from San Jose, California. As they're enjoying tonight's Pabst Blue Ribbon Bop, we're in San Jose where they're going to play the Friday second annual annual Prune Bowl game with San Jose State College. Thanks, Con Jennings, and good luck to the Marquette Hilltoppers. nine with a minute and a half to go. The pace telling on both men. It's been terrific. That blow was picked off by Bratton's glove. That right hand got in there very solid. Both boys in superb condition. Notice there have not been too many clinches in this affair. These boys are interested in throwing that letter. And round nine is over. As uh, Kid Gavilan back to his corner. Got a lot of riders from Los Angeles, California here tonight because they're in town for the game between the Los Angeles Rams and the Bears Sunday. Frankie Finch of the Times, Bob Oates of the Examiner, Art Rents of the News, John Old of the Herald Express, Mike Stiles of the Mirror, and Rube Samuelson of the Pasadena Star News. We've got some great bouts for you every Wednesday night, ladies and gentlemen. Particularly, don't forget the next two coming up. The big Christmas show, Cleveland, Ohio, next Wednesday. And you'll see Harry Matthews against Danny Nardico. And December 12th, we move way out to the Pacific Coast again and up to the San Francisco Cow Palace for the first time a fight will ever be telecast from San Francisco to the East Coast. Edward Charles against Joey Maxson for that one. Have plenty of paps on hand for your enjoyment. Round 10. This should be a good round. Donnie Bratton in the black trunk. Kit Gavilan in the white. Tenth and final. Neither man has been down or in any real serious difficulty. It proves more that they can take it rather than prove that they can't punch. They both punch very hard. Enough. Two minutes left. In the tenth and final round. Now have you got this one scored? Do you think either man is walking off with it or that it's going to be a close one? As far as I'm concerned, that job always belongs to the judges and the referees.
We have not had the expected flurry here in the ninth or the tenth round, the tenth and final. There's still time, of course. One minute to go. We're watching Johnny Bratton closely. This one means a lot to him. Win or lose to see if that jaw of his, the one that has been uh, fractured, can uh, take it for the distance anymore. This fight is almost over. You've got 30 seconds left, ladies and gentlemen. They're both tired. himself will have that decision in just a moment as the judges and the referee will total up the points how'd you like it wasn't it a honey hope you enjoyed that Pabst blue ribbon along with it don't forget that host pack is a real swell way to buy your Pabst blue ribbon pick up six bottles with one hand The uh, eye of Johnny Bratton does not appear to be damaged at all. A cut was more on the cheek, and once in a while, some of the flow of the blood would get over into the corner of the eye, but uh, not enough to cause him any trouble. Javelin completely unmarked, as both boys threw leather all over the place. There's our uh, radio gang for you. That's uh, Jim Norris, who has uh, already been on the TV screen for you. Here comes your decision. Attention, please. Judge Frank McAdams scored his card. 50 for Kid Gavilan. And 50 for Johnny Bratton. <laughs> Attention, please. Judge John Bray scored 52 for Kid Gavilan, 48 for John Bratton. Referee Bill Doty, 48 for Kid Gavilan, 52 for Johnny Bratton. It's a draw. Well, it's a draw. And a great battle. How did you like that voting? Mike McAdams voted 50 points for each man. One of the other judges, 52 48 for Gavilan. And the other one, 52 48 for Bratton. Johnny Bratton is over to pose for the photographers. The handlers of uh, Kid Gavilan are putting on quite a show. They're quite in. Gavilan now posing uh, with Johnny Bratton as Bratton, weighing 149, same as Gavilan, slugged it out for a 10 round draw here at the Chicago Stadium in Chicago, Illinois. So it's a draw. Now don't go away because I'll be right back with the highlights. 